Hey guys, Emily from Food Box HQ here. Today we're talking Splendid Spoon. We've done a bunch of different videos for Splendid Spoon in the past, but we wanted to give you guys just a quick update and an overview of all of their offerings. So let's check out what's in the box. So uh, they did change their shipping and their packaging. It's a little bit different now. So it's all cardboard recyclable. So that's exciting, makes our lives a little bit easier. They're also using dry ice as well. So always make sure that you're being super careful with your packages. But just to show you guys, we've got some of their smoothies. So we have the green matcha smoothie, the power green smoothie, pumpkin spice smoothie, strawberry goji smoothie, and the banana flax smoothie. We also have their soups. We have the cumin sweet potato puree, the butternut squash ratatouille, and the garden minestrone. And last but not least, we have their green bowls. So we have the brown rice taco bowl and the Tuscan white bean and tomato bowl. So Splendid Spoon, for those of you that don't know, is a 100% plant-based meal delivery service. So you've got your soups, you've got your smoothies, and you also have the grain bowls. They've got lots of different types, lots of different flavor profiles, lots of different combinations. We've tried one of each in some of our previous videos, but wanted to combine them all into one for you. So we're gonna try one of each of these just to give you a sense of you know what things taste like, what different recipes they have, and how easy it is to prepare these. So we'll start with the soups. So we're gonna try the cumin sweet potato puree soup. It's got all of your ingredients and information on the back here. It lets me know that there are two servings in this eight fluid ounce little Tupperware here, 170 calories per serving, vegan and gluten-free. It's microwave and dishwasher safe, which is good. And it also has your heating instructions. So this just says to take off the lid and the seal and pop it in the microwave for about four minutes. So we're just gonna heat this up and then we'll do a quick taste test. All right, now for the taste test. Mm. Wow, you can really taste the cumin, but it's not overpowering. I really like that, it's a little bit different. I've never thought of a sweet potato soup personally, but I guess it makes a lot of sense. That's perfect for like lunch at work or even getting home late and then wanting dinner and not really wanting to cook and you've already got the soup set up for you. So definitely a fan. That's so good. All right, I'm gonna set that aside for a minute while we taste some other stuff. I'm probably gonna finish that in a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna try the smoothies next. In one of our previous videos, we tried the green matcha smoothie. So we're gonna try a different one today. We're gonna check out the strawberry and goji smoothie. So as we've mentioned previously, all of your ingredients are gonna be on the front of the bottle here. So it's gonna tell you what goes into this, what's all together. So this says purified water, strawberries, cashew butter, baobab powder, pea protein, goji berries, chia seeds, vanilla powder, coconut flakes, cinnamon, and Himalayan sea salt. So you kinda got <laughs> just about everything in here. They pack quite a lot. It also has a lot of protein in here as well. So you've got six grams of protein. So they're definitely making sure that, you know, it's not just juices or whatever that might be. So let's check out the flavor. Shake it up a little bit, get it mixed. Definitely smells like strawberry. A little hint of something else. Let's see how it tastes. It's actually not bad. I hate coconut, that's a personal thing, but I actually don't taste it that strongly in here, which is kind of nice. I will say you can kind of taste that little bit of pea protein sort of powdery kind of stuff, which I do remember from the green matcha smoothie as well. I don't love protein in my smoothies. Again, that's a personal preference. If you're looking for something, especially as a meal replacement, it's very important to have that protein in there. So it's good that they have this here, but might be interesting to see some options that maybe don't have as much protein or might be, you know, just vegetables. For having protein as somebody who doesn't like it, this actually tastes really good, so. I may have to close that up and have that for breakfast tomorrow. Pretty easy to take to work too. Last but not least, we're gonna try the grain bowls. So last time we tried the brown rice taco bowl. So this time we're gonna check out this Tuscan white bean and tomato bowl. So similarly to the soups, it's got all of your information right on the labels, nutrition facts here, ingredients up front. Again, two servings in each bowl and heating instructions are just to microwave two to four minutes and stir midway. Or if you've got some time, you can pop it into a pan on the stove and heat it up until it's cooked through. Again, this is something that you don't necessarily have to heat up. It's just 
something, you know, if you want to eat it hot, especially if it's cold out, totally get that, but you can eat it cold as well. We're going to heat it up just to see how it goes. So let's just pop it in the microwave. So the top's a little bit different on the grain bowls than they are on the soup. They have these little flaps to sort of help you peel them off. All right, check that out. All right, so we're just gonna pop it in for three minutes. All right. Mmm. The beans didn't get too mushy, which is nice. I was kind of expecting them to be a little bit too soft. Mmm. That's really good. So check that out. It's like a big mix. It's got lots of different flavors in there. It doesn't kind of like... Sometimes I think when you have a grain bowl like that, especially for a company who makes soups, sometimes it can kind of just become one flavor, but this is nice. It's like nice and distinct and your bites are a little bit different if you mix them up well and gives a nice little different texture. And I don't know about you, but I can't do the full liquid thing. I always need like a little bit of a mix in here. So this is nice to kind of keep that balance between wanting to, you know, chew things, as well as making sure that you're getting a lot of veggies, a lot of nutrients, and really, you know, really good for you plant-based food. So I'm probably gonna finish this for dinner and I'll see you in a little bit for a quick wrap up. So just a few final thoughts about Splendid Spoon. I think this is really cool. It's very easy, very simple. It's one of the lowest lifts in terms of prep for your meals, right? It's grab and go. You can grab a soup, take it to work with you and heat it up in your microwave during your lunch break. You can grab a smoothie with you and you have breakfast as well. Very, very easy to sort of incorporate more plant-based foods into your lifestyle if you're looking to kind of dabble into the plant-based category or even if you're just trying to eat healthier and kind of pack your diet with those nutrients and those veggies. This is a really, really easy way to do it. Don't even have to think about it. It's just right there for you to grab. I will say the portion sizes are a little bit smaller depends on the person of course it's probably a little bit easier for you know like a breakfast or a lunch which as they say we power your nine to five makes your work week perfectly easy i can just take this for a full week and i've got breakfasts and lunch for monday to friday so if you want to learn more click the link below